Hello and welcome again to airgunweb.com. My name is Rick Utzler and I'm glad you could join us again. Today we're going to take a look at the Crossman Phantom. Now this is the combo and it retails for about $110 at Pyramid Air. It's all composite and it actually shoots pretty well. But before we get there, let's take a good close up look at this rifle. The Crossman Phantom 1000X may be Crossman's entry-level brake barrel rifle, but you can't tell that by looking at it. It is crafted in composite and steel and has a very nice weight and feel. The composite stock does not feel or sound hollow and the metal parts show an even bluing throughout. The front and rear sights are plastic with True Glow fiber optic inserts. The rifle is a very traditional brake barrel rifle and it takes about 27 pounds of force to cock. The Phantom 1000X ships as a combo and includes a 4x32 power scope. While our test scope performed well, I've had issues with this model crossman scope. Because the rifle has the power and accuracy of more expensive rifles, I would plan to replace the scope with something nicer if this were my gun. Crossman has done a great job bringing an accurate and powerful rifle to those on a tight budget. The major drawback to the Phantom, as with all Crossman's Chinese imports, is the trigger. The second stage is truly horrible and it takes a lot of practice to get good groups. Expect a break-in period of about 500 or more shots with the first 20 to 50 shots to diesel quite a bit. Inside the trigger guard is Crossman's standard manual safety. I do prefer a manual safety to an automatic safety. Now that we've had a chance to take a look at this rifle, let's talk a little bit about performance. The RWS Hobbies, which are a 7 grain pellet and it's what we use as our baseline for velocities, shot a low of 981 feet per second, a high of 1,006 feet per second, an average of 993 feet per second, the extreme spread was 24 feet per second, and the standard deviation was about seven and a half feet per second. Now our best pellet turned out to be the JSB Diabolos and it wasn't the heavies it was just the standard JSB Diabolo exacts. Now they're an 8.4 grain pellet so they're a little bit heavier but they're not as heavy as say like the Kodiaks which are over 10 grain. That 8.4 grain pellet posted a low of 885 feet per second a high of 899 feet per second, an average of 892 feet per second, giving us an extreme spread of 14 feet per second with a standard deviation of only four and a half feet per second. Now when you talk about energy on target, the Hobbies posted 15.36 foot pounds and the JSB Diabolo Exacts posted 14.86 foot pounds. The volume level for the Crossman Phantom measured 97 dB. Now to put that in perspective, normal conversation is 60 dB and your lawnmower runs at around 100 dB. So it's moderately loud, but it's not terribly loud. Now let's move on to some shooting tests and see if we can take that performance and put it in the bullseye.
So what's my final take on the Crossman Phantom? Well, I think you're going to be hard pressed to find a rifle that shoots as well and costs this little. Our groups range from dime to quarter size groups at 20 yards. What really makes this um, a challenge to shoot is the trigger. If you could clean this trigger up or maybe install a replacement trigger, you're going to find this rifle really, really performs. If you're looking for a reasonably accurate rifle that hits that thousand foot per second mark, it's not going to break your wallet. Definitely take a look at the Crossman Phantom. I want to take some time to thank the folks over at Pyramid Air for providing this product and all the supplies for the review. When you need your next air rifle or you need your next batch of supplies, please be sure to look the guys up at www.pyramidair.com. Until next time, my name's Rick Utzler. Thanks again for joining us.